Okay, I'm hoping that you can see this. Um, this is a painting that I'm working on, and he's pretty big. He's like uh, 24 by 36, and I'll kind of go in and give you a little closer look. And you can see his texture and uh, the symbols on the side, which are private language. And there he is. And then the next painting over is one of his companion pieces. Let's go in and take a good close look at her face. And back out again. And you can see her symbols, her private language, her secret language. All about the symbols there. And she's also very large. She's like 24 by 36 leaning up against my beat up old truck. And here's one. Um, she's pretty cool. I'm going to get real close so you can see the texture. And then I'll tell you how I did it. And there's um, her symbols. And you can see all the texture there. It's very cool. I'm digging that the most. And then I'm going to show you how I did it. This is all um, texture that I've laid down and then painted the face last. I know it looks like I painted the, the face first, but that's not the case. And all this stuff over here, believe it or not, that is Gorilla Glue. And I'll show you how I did it. There's, um, there she is. She's about uh, 18 by 18 inches. This one's 24 by 36. This one, he is also 24 by 36, but he's laying horizontally instead of vertically. And the way that I did did her, I'm going to show you over here. Hope, hopefully you can see it. This is um, an 18 by 18 canvas. And if you look really closely, you can see that's Gorilla Glue that I've put down. And it's not dry yet. But the coefficient of expansion in it is very bizarre, so it's quite unpredictable how it dries, and you really don't know, you know, what, what shape it's going to take when you put it down. And then I put in the center some spackle, just plain old hardware store spackle, and I use a palette knife to put it on with in the thick layers and texture. And uh, like I said, you can see it starts to, it begins to dry in very unpredictable patterns. You really don't have any idea um, what shape it's going to take, what the final product is going to be, which is pretty exciting because then you can create something very unique on it. But um, that's how I created her. So hopefully uh, this makes sense and I haven't made you motion sick. <laughs> Thanks for watching.